John Lilly's Euphues. Euphues is a prose romance written in 1578 by one of the university wits John Lilly. The work has been written in two parts. The first part Euphues, the anatomy of wit was written in 1578. The second part Euphues and his England was written in 1580. These prose works took the upper classes of England by storm. The chief importance of Euphues in the history of English literature is that it paved the way for English novel. Some critics have called it the first English prose novel. The name Euphues is taken from Greek meaning graceful, witty. John Lilly borrowed the name from Roger Ascham's famous work The Schoolmaster. The books set the vogue of Euphuistic style which was followed by a large number of John Lilly's immediate successors. The plot of Euphues is very simple. Euphues is a man of learning and culture belonging to Athens which evidently stands for Oxford. He goes to Naples to lead a life of pleasure. There in Naples, he becomes intimate with a young man Phil Ortis an Italian, who introduces him to his fiancée, Lucilla. Euphues attracts Lucilla's love and the two friends exchange taunting letters. But Lucilla plays him false and elopes with a stranger. Euphues heartbroken returns to Athens and he and Phil Ortis becomes friends again. In Euphues, there are very long essays on topic like love, education of children, and lengthy dialogues and rhetorical letters. In the second book, there is a description of the arrival of Phil Ortis and Euphues in England. It also deals with Phil Ortis' courtship with Camilla, a maid of honor to Queen Elizabeth I. The book plays glowing tribute to the English nobility particularly to the courtiers. John Lilly has sketched a very flattering portrait of Queen Elizabeth. Thus, Euphues is remarkable not for its matter but for its highly mannerist prose style which has come to be known as Euphuism. Euphuism is a formal and elaborate prose style which was in vogue in 1580s in the conversation of English court circles. John Lilly deliberately employed and exaggerated a stylized prose which other writers had developed earlier. It is highly sententious style, full of moral maxims, allusions and rhetorical questions. The style is tinged with similes and allusions which are usually taken from mythology. In Love Slave as Lost William Shakespeare parodied John Lilly's Euphues. But it should be noted that John Lilly's style also influenced Shakespeare. Euphuism has been criticized by many writers but all these elements in Euphuism are used for the purpose of decoration. This style of writing is highly decorated affecting poetic beauty and it also needs a greater understanding on the part of the reader. John Lilly's Euphuistic style also imparted great profit to the other writers after him.